Jesus as my name, a very short word. And I'm going to be doing it like a series in Jesus' name. Uh, we shall, by the grace of God, uh, do like how God speaks, the dynamics and the guidelines of hearing God. What prevents God from giving you direction or hearing him? That will be like a, a, a series that I'm going to be doing on Fridays by the grace of God. And once we finish this series, we are going to start another one called the silent chapters that drain the life of a man on earth. Hallelujah. So today, I will not be talking about how God speaks. We want to look at the guidelines of hearing from God first. We will come again by the grace of God to see how God speaks. Because God communicates to humanity through different ways. And one of the most powerful ways that God will speak to you and there will be no contradiction is the word of God. God can also speak to you through word of knowledge, can speak to you through word of wisdom, can speak to you through dreams and visions. Those two are different dreams and visions. In a dream, God appears to a man in a vision. He reveals himself to a man. He can speak to you through the servants of God. He can speak to you through situations. Even right now, God is speaking to you. Hallelujah. So tutakuja tuangalie kila moja and what we call the inner witness. Na hiyo ndio hii inachanganya watu wengi. Sikia mtu asema nimesikia roho na ni mawazo. The inner witness of the spirit because you must have grown in a level whereby you can differentiate your thoughts from the inner witness of the spirit and I will show you how it works. Now when we come to dream we will divide them. I'm just laying a foundation of what we will be doing on Fridays. We will divide them to the dreams of man, dreams of God and the dreams of Satan. Amen. So in the area of dreams of man and dreams of Satan, we shall be looking at what we call dream pollution. Dream pollution, pollution in the dream. We shall be looking at the dreams of man. You know, the book of Ecclesiastes 5 says, uh, I know it in Kamba. Mulat, will you interpret that? Uh, kwa sababu ya mawazo mingi na maongezi mengi ndoto uja. Kuna watu wanaota ndoto juu ya story tu mmeshinda mkipiga na wewe unasema bwana ameongea. We shall be differentiating those kind of things. We will also come and look at what we call suffocating dreams and the multiple dreams. Whether you wake up and you have 20 dreams. Mulati used to have that problem I think 3 years ago. And nilimsaidia kwa uwezo wa bwana mpaka akajua. Hallelujah. God talks but he's not talking. You know when you are teachable, even if you are doing wrong, you will be able to stand and the Lord will correct you in Jesus mighty name. Kuna mtu akiamka na kuambia kuna message tatu nne. God Mungu sio ready. Unaona Uhuru Kenyatta cannot be addressing the issue of boda boda akuja address eh, accident ya matatu hapa alafu kesho address katika Mungu tuko na jua mingi. That will not be a president. So God talks and he is not talkative. So we will look at those suffocating dreams. Pia tutaangalia dreams zingine ambazo ni vanga board nimewaeleza wakati mwingi unalala dono unaamka kayole kesho uko Italy unarudia US. Pia also manipulative dreams ambapo watu ambao wanafaa wakusaidie unawaona kwa dream wanakukimbiza ni maadui zako na wale ambao wanakuroga unaona wanakugift kwa dream they are called manipulative dreams and uh, welfare reverse dreams we will look at them and then we shall look at prophetic dreams then we will come and, uh, to an area where we see the dreams of God and we will be able, you will be able to know when God has spoken to you in a dream or when Satan has manipulated you. So to kifika hapo, we will dig deeper in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Tutaziangalia to so that as you grow in the word of God, for the word of God is given for you. All the, uh, the scripture, all scripture is God breath and is profitable for doctrine, even to instruct you, to correct you and to reprove you. Amen. And you will know whether you hear God or you hear Satan. Hallelujah. Yeah, it is very possible to be confused. Even me, there are dreams I dream and when I wake up, I know God has not spoken. So, kila ndoto tu namuka bwana akasema, mungu akanyonyesha. Utangiwa na definition. Hallelujah. So, you need to know, has the Lord spoken or has not the Lord spoken? So, all that the Lord will help us to dissect it. And then from there, we shall look at what sometimes makes God not to guide us, what makes God to seem silent, and all that kind of a thing. So, today, we are doing the guidelines of hearing from God. Hallelujah. Guidelines on hearing from God. Wale unataka kumsikia bwana. Na kama unataka kumsikia bwana, you must know God, not just to know about God. There are people who know about God, but they do not know God. Now to know what God is saying, and to do what God is saying, is a very good disposition in your life in Jesus' mighty name. So our key scripture will be Psalm 85.8, the book of Psalm 85.8, Deacon Anthony. Psalm 85.8, 8, 
will be a key scripture for us for quite some time. The Lord says, yes. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, but let them not turn back to folly. Hallelujah. So the issue there, I will hear. I am going to hear what the Lord shall speak. Say with me this week. This week. I shall hear I shall. what God wants me to hear in the name of Jesus. So guideline number one, be filled with the word of God continually. That is guideline number one if you want to know how God speaks. Be filled with the word of God continually. Be filled with the word of God continually. The book of Psalm 29 2 says the voice of the Lord is above the waters. Meaning above the word of God is the voice of God. Be filled with the word of God continually. The problem of too much prayer minus the word of God is that you will never know when you have entered into deception. Because truth and deception may have a very thin line. Amen. The Bible says we shall live by every word that we do not seek one man or a banner. Every word, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. So balance your life between prayer and the word of God. Know how to pray using the word of God in Jesus' mighty name. So it will help you to know who is speaking to you. You will always find a second statement. You will always find somewhere to qualify a second statement. Now, you know the word of God number one it will help you to design the Bible says in 2 Timothy 3.16 where I have read that all scripture is God breath and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, instruction in righteousness, meaning if you read the word of God, pekeake, it is able to correct you, it is able to reprove you, it is able to give you the right doctrine, so one thing that the word of God, if you are full of the word of God you design you will just, you know, our enemy, the devil, is a crafty devil. Satan is a wicked Satan. And he transforms himself into an angel of light. You can meet people that tell you, I have seen Jesus. And there is no Jesus to them. Because what the Jesus told them is contrary to scripture. Amen. So if you do not know the word of God, you will be easily manipulated. Like if you are a preacher, you get doom from everybody. So if you don't know the word of God, you'll be saying, No, no, no. Trust what needs to be trusted. And hold on to what you know is true. Hallelujah. So make it a habit in yourself. A habit, Kabisa. To read the word of God, to study it, to know it, so that you know God for yourself in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Number two. If you want to guidelines on hearing from God, be committed to doing what is written while seeking what is God saying. Be committed, I will explain that, to do, be doing what is written while seeking what he is saying. For instance, if you are looking for maybe fruitfulness in one area of your life or another, and you are very much concerned God must speak on this business, he must speak, look for another scripture that is also the same talking about fruitfulness but as a condition and they keep on doing that condition that will cause God to do what you want him to do hallelujah the book of John 15 16 we're going to read that one John 15 16 the guidelines on hearing God now this is not novel once you read it study it John 15, 16. You did not choose me, mm -hmm. but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, mm -hmm. and that your fruit should remain, mm -hmm. that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Hallelujah. What is the condition there that God may supply to you and give you what you want? Go out there, bear fruit, and make sure the fruit remains. Hallelujah. Because you can hold God accountable on his word. I have been praying to God that he blesses me and that he hears my prayer and whatever I ask that he may answer and he has not answered. So what do I do? I commit myself in doing what is written in the word of God. Go out there, be fruitful, make sure the fruit remains, and whatever you ask in my name, I shall give it unto you. Hallelujah. So as you wait for God, look, for, there are scriptures like Exodus, let's go to Exodus 23, 25. When you are waiting for God to speak to you, Exodus 23, 25. 23, 25. Mm -hmm. So you shall serve the Lord your God, mm -hmm. and he will bless your bread and your water. Atafika hapo. And you will also do what will you? And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Hallelujah. 
So what will you do for the Lord to heal you? So you shall serve the Lord your God. And you shall bless your bread and water. Amen. Are you looking for God to give you food? And he has not given you. You have not seen him. You have not heard him. Commit yourself to serve him. Hallelujah. Yes, be brutally committed. Be brutally committed to serve the Lord. Evangelism here Tuesday is a kumina moja in the upper satan. Be brutally serve the Lord because you can hold him accountable. You can go and tell him, Thou hast said, I will serve you and you shall bless my bread and my water. No bread here, no water. What are you going to bless? And the God is accountable to his word. He shall give you bread and water in Jesus' mighty name. Declare yourself in the service of God. Stop sleeping. The tent is open here. Deploy yourself in the service of the Lord. And you shall take away diseases out of your life in Jesus' mighty name. So be committed to doing what is written. It is not every time I hear God to come and preach. But I am committed that the children of God, when they come to the house of the Lord, they must go home when they are full. Hallelujah. And when I do like that, I come without a sermon. And when I just get here, I get a sermon. Why? God has seen the commitment. It's not every time I write message from home. Sometimes I come complaining. Kutaenda haje. Kutaenda haje bwana hajaongea. Tutahubiri nini bwana hajasema. Tutafanya nini? And then when I come and sit down, I will wait someone until you begin praying. I have to cut it. Why? I have seen one thing and I have proved it. Commit yourself brutal to serving God. He will do what he has said he will do to them that serve him. Amen. Yes, for without faith. It is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to him must first believe that he is a rewarder of them that seek him diligently. You want reward? Wake up and pray. Seek him diligently. Read the word of God. See in your house. Look for books that can help you study to show yourself approved. Amen. Study. Like now I'm studying a very good Bible book called The Marriage That Works. Study to show yourself approved. And God will reward you in Jesus' mighty name. So kama unaishi maisha ambayo unafili you are not rewarded. Bwana haja kupatia kazi. Tafuta scripture kama hiyo. And they serve the Lord diligently. And he shall reward you in Jesus' mighty name. Guidelines on hearing from God. Be patient to learn his voice. Be patient my brother, my sister to learn the voice of God. This kind of ari ari ash. I've made, made many people to fall into deception. Be patient to learn the voice of God. His story ya roa kasema, mungu kasema, utapata umemukufuru roa. Be patient enough to learn the voice of God. Because when God speaks, he is not like man. You will know. If you have been with him for quite some time, you will know when he speaketh unto you. Now, the Bible says, Prophet Samuel, had to learn how to hear God and to defend the word of God. But how did he learn? He learned through membership. Tell your neighbor membership. Habu sema anajua kusikia mungu. Alikaa chini ya Eli. Akbali, akakuja, akamambia umenita. Mara ya pili. Eli akiwa ni kuwani ambaye aoni macho. It is an and that is why it is very dangerous for you kuwanza kwa attack even backsliding prophets like prophet or what. Let me tell you the truth. It is very dangerous. Because even in his blindness, Eli was able to mend someone to know how to hear God. You know, there are people who form WhatsApp group, you, 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 are, you will be there. Hey, akona mandefu kupa, akona. Wacha ni kuambie. Hiyo mafuta unacheka na hiyo ikimagika, hapa kenya hata sisi it will affect us. I'm telling you the truth. Because it takes God many years to amount a man. Hallelujah. So, haka mfunza. Heli alikuwa tata asha achwa na mungu. Now God was coming in to tell Samuel that he is going to judge the house of Eli. But he remembered Samuel. And the Bible says it happened that God appeared in Shiloh and there he revealed himself to Samuel through his word. Who told Samuel how to hear God? He was patient. It was Eli. Hallelujah. The man who is going to be a 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 man even me, I used to have dream. I have passed a friend and you talk to someone and they're, mm, 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 pastor, you, mm, 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 And through that, you will be patient enough and you will know the voice of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Do you know Atta Elia Kiwa Mchungaji Akiwa Prophet? Kuna wakati alitanganikiwa na sauti ya bwana. When he went to anoint the king of Israel, right? He saw two sons of, uh, wadhi of Jesse, moja sinkumuki and Eliab. I said, ah. Ni kama ndo huu. Kukuambia kwamba hata yeye excitement. Ilikuwa imemfanya asisikia sauti ya bwana vizuri. Hallelujah. So ukitaka kusikia bwana tulia. But when you are excited, excited, say, <laughs> the Lord has told us we are going to the 
Where are we going now to South Africa? It's just excitement. No, no, I'll just see okay, on a mambo ya South Africa and the table mountains. Be patient enough with the Lord. You shall know his voice. Don't be quick to say the Lord has said when you are not sure. Tell your neighbor, sit under membership. Eh, utafunzwa. Utafunzwa. Mimi sauti ya bwana kuijua sana nilijulia jam. Na kule membership si mchezo. Ukiingia kama ni evangelism uh, team, utafunzwa vizuri sana. Sit you will know when the Lord is speaking to you in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Because I remember when God began to speak to me, I could not even get the Lord will speak to me like something. Hawa, that, that was one time the Lord told me, Hawa wanaenda shere. And me I had who you anaenda stare. So I wrote it like that. And later I realized ni kama mtoto, ni na learn. Mungu hakuwa anasema shere, hakuwa anasema stare, alikuwa anasema shere. So you learn until you reach a place you can enter in a matatu ambayo yuko na sauti kubwa and you will be able to hear the voice of the Lord clearly. Hallelujah. Because God is not limited to circumstances. Si lazima uingie mahali ujifungie tindu usikie bwana. Unaweza msikia bwana ukioga, unaweza msikia bwana ukitembea, but you must be sure that is the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. The guidelines on hearing the voice of God. So tukisoma uh, huyu uh, prophet Samuel mimi nilisema wakati alienda kwa Jose, out of excitement he was not very discerning of the voice of the Lord. So kama pale mbeleni you have missed it, don't kill yourself. The Lord will bring you back in Jesus mighty name. Now you just need to go back to the Lord and say it looks like I didn't hear well. Speak again and we shall do so in Jesus mighty name. Si tu kama ushaipigiwa simu na mtu and you are talking to that person and later you realize I'm talking to a different person. Pia kwa ulimwengu wa kiroho ni hivyo. You have not mastered that person's voice very well. So unaongea unaongea unasema eh? Huyu anaongea gani? Una oh, wewe sio ambao yangu. Akamwambia hapana, mimi ni mbako. So in the spiritual realm ni hivyo. Unaweza kuwa unajua sauti ya Mungu. Sasa anakuangalisha alafu na realize, mm, mm, hii imeanza ku contradict neno. Then you go back say Lord, it's like I didn't hear you well. Hallelujah. Number four, guidelines on hearing from God. Don't expect God to speak to you exactly the same way he speaks to another person. Because God is a God of variety. Kuna watu usipo hata ndoto, unaumia sana kwa sababu usijui watu wauli na Yesu walifunzwa ndoto ndio njia Mungu anaongea. Na ndio kitu imechanganyisha kila mtu. God if, if God speaks to me through the word of God and he speaks to another person powerfully through dreams. Don't now be going to God and be telling him I have not received the dream in the last three weeks. Why have you not spoken to me? Yet so and so are seven. Don't expect God to speak to you exactly the same way he speaks to another. Hallelujah. He is a God of variety. Guidelines on hearing God. Personally, I do dream, but not very much. One area the Lord by His grace has given me is the word of knowledge. If I am able to know things that nobody has told me, even when I am seated. See, I do to peke yake, ata za siyasa. I, somehow like that, the word of knowledge. And how does the word of knowledge work? Ukitambia na mungu, it becomes very simple. Like when I preach here, I am also careful of what I am saying. If I say a statement here that I didn't intend to say, I go back to the office and sit down and say, what did the Holy Spirit want to reveal to me as I say this statement? Iyo siyo ngumu, unaita tu kiongozi wa intercessor, unamambia omba exposure. Hallelujah! And then within a few hours, you get to know. That is how word of knowledge works. Word of knowledge also will work like this. Kuna wakati unakutana usiku na mtu mbaya na huko and then my skin starts to roll and the hair begins to stand again. And I will know this is a dangerous person. Amen? Yeah, you must also be sharp in the smell. Like if you go to a territory that has unajaribu kuambia zile ziko kwangu sijui ziko kwako ni gapi. If I go to an area that has witchcraft, I am able to smell it very nicely. Very, I mean, very immediately. I am able to smell. Na hiza kwa mbili ni mba mganga, hile ni mbili. On now, the smell goes like. Hallelujah. Pia ni kiindaraki na watu wagia ni sana ni naduwaga. I know. Because there are people who interact with them, they don't smell immediately. Interact, they start having body odor. You will know. This is either sin smelling, this is witchcraft. So that's a word of knowledge. Tutakuja kuzisoma zote. Na utajua zingini ukonazo na nikujua ujui. Hallelujah. Yeah, you will know. I know. There are people who naturally are very fresh. But when I interact with them, I begin to hear smell. I begin to hear smell. Another day I will wake up. I think of Sister Susan. Nani nakosa amani completely. I will know she is on the wrong. 
hivyo hiyo ndio inaitwa word of knowledge so kama bwana ananiongelesha hivyo usikufe kuelewa hivyo wewe shikilia mahali if the lord speaks to you in scripture shukuru mwana kama anakuongelesha kwa ndoto ni sawa but don't be expecting me tunaita i must have dream tunaita i must have dream no 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 he is a god of variety na mungu appoint mazoeana akili yake isumemzoea kwa dream he turns to speak to you even now kuna wasema mimi sisikiagi mungu na sasa hii umekaa kanisani unasikiza nini bwana anaongea na wewe haleluya the word of god number 5 Don't decide what you are expecting to hear. Don't decide what you are expecting to hear. You are prejudicial. You have determined what you want to hear. Listen to me carefully. If you go to God with an idol in your heart, the Bible says he shall answer you according to the idols in your heart. Hiyo tutaisoma. He will answer you according to the idols in your heart. Now, if you want to start a business, na already ushanunua viazi unaenda kwa Mungu kumuuliza ati nipike chips ama nipike viazi karai well, you have already determined sasa unamuulizia kitu gani utaona usiku ukipika viazi na utapika viazi karai because you went to the lord with a predetermined mind unataka Mungu akue kama rubber stamp bana Yesu asifiwe yeah don't decide what you are expecting to hear the easiest way to hear god is when you don't have a choice regarding a matter Baba kama ni viazi sawa, kama ni mikate sawa, kama ni maamri sawa, kama ni ndembo sawa, kama ni wanaona sawa. That's the best place to hear God. Hallelujah. Usiende na mtu ati ushaonaana na kijana alafu naambie baba nataka nijue kama ni mkanda. Utamwona mkanda. You already have a mind on that. You already and then you begin say God is speaking. God has spoken to me. No 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 no. Moses he has not spoken. You went with an idol in the heart. It is not even God that is here. And let me tell you single people, the best place you can be is when you have got no body in mind, you are not even thinking about it and you are really waiting upon God. Hallelujah. And then God will speak to you. But if you want to already unataka kwenda America, unaambia baba, already uko kwa embassy unangojea visa. Baba nataka nijue kama ni mapenzi yako niende America utajiona Los Angeles ukitembea because you have already determined that you want to go to America tell your neighbor be at the center of the will of God be at the center of the will of God and it shall be well with you and it shall be well you know when I began ministry I didn't want to start church I am not even sure whether today I still want to run church by the way to be sincere with you na nime nikwambia nina rudi street me I'm going back to street kwa sababu niliitwa peke yangu na niliitwa kwa street I'm going back You know when you are the sin of the will of God it's not just that he had me here if the lord want to church to continue well and good if he wants me to go back to city, well and good tukaanzana kule tulianzana so be at the center of the will of God don't be going to God with a predetermined uh, mind and you want unamforce to akuja araba stand the bible says in Ezekiel 14:4-5 Ezekiel 14:4-5 The Lord says, mm-hmm. therefore speak to them and say to them, mm-hmm. thus says the Lord God, every one of the every one of the house of Israel who sets up his, his idols in his heart and puts before him what causes him to stumble into him and then comes to the prophet, I the Lord will answer him who comes according to the multitude of his idols. I the Lord shall answer him who comes according to the multitude of his idols. Mm-hmm. Go on that I may seize the house of Israel by their heart because they are all estranged from me by their idols hallelujah mwambie jirani wako don't put words in god's mouth sometimes nika issue tu mekajua nje ndi ananikaota nikasikia ni issue it's a night in the heart and that's why god is answering you according to the idols of your heart and the bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked and out of it the mouth speaketh so Then your man abana alisema give me your heart because he knows when you have idols in the heart like now if you have idolized something in the heart and then you are going to God and you are telling him should I do this business you will keep on dreaming hata kesho utapata word uanze kusema ni word of God amaidhirisha but check if you have an idol in your heart when you want to go before God remove the socks that hide hypocrisy remove the socks that unajua serious i told you are experts in hiding hypocrisy remove the socks and just go as you are 
and he shall give you direction in Jesus mighty name. Those of you who are going to college and join college, usikose mnataka kuwa daktari kwa sababu kuna madaktari kuna nini? Just go before the Lord. Muambie ndio hizi zote faculty is there is no kuna medicine kuna hii. Nichague gani? Umempatia sasa kumwambia bwana nilikuwa nataka kaka nikuwa daktari ndio nikatibu watu wetu. Usiku utaona umevaa koti ya daktari. Na utakwaya sema bwana aliniita na si yeye. Ukifika pale mbele ukipata shida, utapata si bwana alikuita hapo. So be plain before God. Hallelujah. Yes, don't decide. You, you just won't go to rubber stamp. Don't decide what you want to hear from God. Number six. Don't expect God to speak on issues where his will is clear. Don't expect God to speak on issues where his will is clear. Now, it is the will of God that helps us to pray correctly. Unajua unaweza shinda hapa one hour and you are praying against the will of God. And that prayer will never be answered. The will of God once you know it it will help you to pray correctly. Unaweza amka asubuhi anze kuomba. Should I go to church? Should I not go to church? Because sababu sisikizane na mulati. I mean, the will of God is clear. You should not forsake fellowship, right? Yes. So why are you asking God whether you should go to church or should not go to church? Should I put a brown shoe or a black shoe? If the will of God is clear on a matter, I will give you pastors after my own heart. Hallelujah. But it's not God speaking to you don't go to church it is rebellion you are rebellious in nature yani you should unafa yani when the will of god is clear for example you don't marry a non believer ufa ukutana na mtu ambaye hajaokoka na wenda ukaulize Mungu kama mnafaa muone the word of god is clear don't yoke yourself don't be yoked together with a non believer that's burial is satan hallelujah So don't expect God. Useme niko katoloni siku saba na mngojea bwana speak uh, bwana ongee. Ninataka ongee kuhusu anishu ambayo kwake iko clean. Unaomba Mungu ujue kama unatoa utoe sadaka. Unaomba Mungu ujue kama unafaa ulipe tithe. Unaomba yani unaomba Mungu vitu ambazo wewe mwenyewe amekuambia na ziko clear. Hallelujah. Yeah, so guidelines on hearing from God. Number seven, never attempt to trivialize the voice of God. Never attempt to trivialize the voice of God. Kuna watu hata Mungu akiongea ushituki, ushituki. <laughs> bwana, mimi kuna wakati bwana ananiongeleshaga kitu, I go straight to the toilet and start diarrhea. Ni mwofu bwana. Mwofu bwana. Don't trivialize the message of the Lord and when the Lord has, especially when the Lord has come to speak, ama unaanza kuitwist. Labda ni morning Mungu ananipatia ya huko mbele, labda nini? And you know very well. This thing that the Lord is speaking about you have done it. Don't trivialize the voice of God. Hallelujah. When you hear God speak to you through dream, through word, word of knowledge, tremble at his word. The Bible says the voice of God is majestic. Tell your neighbor majestic. majestic. It is an honorable voice. It is an honorable voice. Was it trivialize voice ya Bwana? Don't do that. Don't trivialize the voice of the Lord. Mungu si nyanya yako eti anakupatia suggestions. God does not give you suggestions. He gives you commands and there's a king he expects them to be followed. He expects them the commands of the Lord to be obeyed. Sema ya Mungu tu aliniongelesha lakini bado ninafikiria eh? Mungu amekuongelesha na bado unafikiria. Ati Mungu amekuambia eti umuongezee sadaka ile umebeba kwa kibeti. You should carry it like a mad woman or a mad man. Ambia jirani yako muofu bwana. Muofu bwana. Mungu akiongea muofu. Muofu bwana. Tetemeka kwa jeni kwa at the word of God. Hakuna watu anaga Mungu ameniongelesha nikaendelea kulala. Hakuna Mungu alikuongelesha. Mimi I'm telling you the king of kings. When he speaks to you you can't even sleep again. Unaamka, unaangalia sili. Unaangalia sema oh, oh, Depending on what the Lord has told you, you cannot sleep again. Personally ninajua kani tumbo kuharibika. Ni nina muofu bwana nikifika kwa choo hakuna kazi nyingine tumbo imeharibika unaishika eh hey, what has the lord said what has the lord that time sitaki kujua ndani yako natembea kama kuna siku nilitoka hata nje ya gate ninatembea kama what has the lord said what is this true are you the one that is speaking tremble at the voice of the lord hallelujah muofu bwana usinya yako si babu yako when you hear him speak tremble it is what Tremble at the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number 9. Oh, we are in number 8. Me check on my time. Don't get discouraged when God appears silent. You are waiting on him on a matter. Don't get discouraged. 
You know, there is a time I was awaiting God on my mission. And then Pastor Richard would call me. He said, Bingu inasema nini? Kambia mchungaji. Bingu ilinifuta kazi. Bingu imenieka on suspension. He said, na kwa nini unasema Bingu imekufuta kazi? Kambia kwa sababu kichenye ni nankojea buwana onge. Na ukikuwa na hiyo habi tutakuwaga na shida kila asubui. Pastor Bingu inasema nini? Eti na Bingu inasema nini? Suza Bingu inasema nini? You know, you, you, you are eager for nothing. Don't get discouraged when God appears silent. Mali tumesema isem, I will hear you. I will hear you. Whatever it takes, God will speak to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. There are many reasons why God sometimes uh, keeps silent. Nitazipitia kidogo, tutakuja kuzisoma, tukisoma how God speaks. Okay, you may be on the right track and there is no need to speak. Yeah, there is no need to speak. Because God is not talkative. It's not every time he pats your back, tells you I am here, oh I am here, arise and wake. You may be that. That is one point. Number two, unaweza kuwa unapitia test. Mwalimu wa kufunzagi wakati unapitia test. He expects you to produce what he taught you during class. So God may be silent because he is expecting you to pass a test. Ame kupatia majaribu. Na nataka kuona vile utaipasa and you keep on praying. Father, which way? Which way? And God has already given you a sword. He has already given you a rod. He is expecting to see how you will do it. How you will produce what he taught you. At that point, you may be required to produce faith. Hallelujah. So you may be silent. Another thing is like alikuongelesha na ukusikia. But God, God is not a father of rebellion. If he tells you go to east and you decide to go to west, he will never speak in west. He is king. He will show you that he is God. So there, there is something that he has said to you and you have not done it. Why should he speak again? So you hear that God is silent on a matter. Silent on a matter. There is a time when I lived in Tono. Pale face, the Lord kept on showing me wale wa mama wa kuosha nguo ni waubiri. But then I also kept on asking myself, sasa itakuwaje na hapa ni najulikana. So the Lord went silent for a long time. So one day I wake up, I called sister and I told her, come so that you accompany me. We went and preached to those women, preach. Na tuka wanumulia wunga, tuka wabariki. When I went home, clearly the Lord spoke to me again. Hallelujah. Eh, hey, angalia ni nini bwana kuna watu unashindiwa rekebika au rekebiki rekebika unajua roho wa Mungu wa pingani na mwanadamu forever he said i will not strive with man forever because his heart is wicked and the inclination of every thought of man is wicked so angalia ni wapi unavurutana na Mungu ndio maana ameamua anyamaze now god may be also speaking in ways that you are not hearing maybe you are expecting him to speak in a dream he is giving you word and you are not paying attention also, God can cause a situation to speak to you, but because you are not paying attention, you are not paying attention. But for you, you will say that God is silent. And maybe it is not time for him to speak. Ecclesiastes 3.11. He makes things beautiful in his own time. Hallelujah. Taka turuke kwa point ingini. Ni point number ngapi sasa? Point number nine. Say with me, I receive grace. I receive grace. To hear God clearly. And correctly. In Jesus name. Jesus name. Learn how to spend time with the Lord. You will learn how to hear him. Amen. Amen. And you will find him directing you. Even on small matters. You will find God directing you here and there. Here and there. Directing you here and there. Recently, Nikiwa Naiva, we went to a petrol station. And I didn't see that uh, they wrote diesel. So we parked behind a, we queued behind a, a, a double cabin. And that was the day that I was going to, re- to receive wrong phone. So, I was going to Eva's story. I was going to tell you that I was going to diesel kwa gari ya petro, kwa tangi ya petro. So, I think the attendant had, I was going to where is the car in Dogo, ni petro ama ni diesel? I was going to tell you, oh, 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 turn, go there. Turn. God will direct, I was going to tell you, I was going to tell you. So, Eva was wondering, I was going to tell you, ah, na ukiekewa, I was going to tell you story. Na ukiekewa, mafuta mbaya. Wanaendaga, wana bring your target, their own cost, wana iosha, lakini uwa inaaribu gari. So sijui kama ni bwana aliguza ule atenda and akasikia kaja akatuliza we were very shocked very shocked spend time with God he will direct you on small simple matters in Jesus mighty name amen uh before we did injection there was a problem with this clothing so nilikuwa na eva tukingangana kupata gown on friday and so we were walking from town and we went to to where they they do uh, what is called beading a gown so when we went there 
We looked at what had been done, it wasn't matching. So we called a fund and the fund said, the less that you are looking for, I was in Kapatikana. Hata mimi nilitafuta. So I told Eva, what you are going to do, utapanda boda boda. Urudi mfangano street. Wangali hitu ni tulesu wa mekatakata tudogo uleto ibidi. So as we were talking like this, as I was just giving her 150 shillings, another woman just came in. Let's see, follow me. We follow, follow, follow. She went to a shop. The less that we were looking for, ilikuwa imebaki one meter in the wall of Gara na tulikuwa tunaitaji one meter. Pijia bwana Yesu makofi. Allow the Lord to lead you. It's a prayer you pray every day. Hallelujah. Jifunze tu kuomba. Na yu maombi ni naombe aga bwana yangu kila siku. Father lead these steps. Lead these steps. Asiende kazini ya kosane na bosi yake. Hatuwe kukusikia. Muongozi ya sipote barabara imejaa jamu. Muongozi ya sikutane na watu wa kumweka into temptation ya kula ya kuchukua rushwa. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. So the Lord, we bought one. It's, and it was a miracle, I'm telling you. It was, and it was so funny. So God has approved this. I say, yes, my sister, he has approved this. Hallelujah. You can imagine the kind of mess we would have gotten to. Hata kuongoza. Hata kuongoza. Papa nataka ni kusikia leo. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Hallelujah. Yamisho. Wherever you are in doubt, we are on the guidelines, the guidelines of hearing God. Wherever you are in doubt, cross check with God and the trust him for more witnesses. Hallelujah. If you are in doubt, Bwana amekunenea kitu and you are not sure, you are in doubt, you are not sure it is him. Go back to him. Cross check with him and the trust him for more witnesses. Matthew 18:16. Matthew 18:16. The guidelines on hearing God. Whenever you are in doubt, cross check with God. Cross check with God. And the trust him for more witnesses. He shall do. 1816. Mm-hmm. But, he, but if he will not hear, mm-hmm. take with you one or two more, that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Hallelujah. In the mouth of two or more witnesses, every word shall be done what? Shall be established. The Lord has spoken to you, has told you, relocate. You are not sure. Go back to him and ask him to give you witnesses. Utakutana na mlevi. Atakwambi ile nyumba hile inakuwaga haina maji. You will know. You will meet another one. Takambia hapa kuliuliwa mtu. You will know that there are witnesses that the Lord is saying don't move in this direction. Hallelujah. Usipoji tu unaka unajipata kwa mess. Unaka tu yani ni kama ahuna rohu. Learn the voice of the Lord. It shall guide you in Jesus mighty name. Kama mtu ambaye ajaokoka kwa na akili ya Google Maps ya kutuonyesha barabara iliye na jamu saa hii tukiwa hapa what about the holy spirit how much more the spirit of the living god how much more when you know the voice of the lord he will teach you he will teach you one time i was listening to somebody nilikuwa huko dunum and the person was really talking hey my servant of god hey the lord told me clearly my servant be careful you are being manipulated and i began to listen now with another ear. Because the voice of the Lord is majestic. Do you have doubts on what the Lord has told you? Take it back to him. Hallelujah. And he shall give you witnesses. And that matter shall be established for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God will never leave himself without any witness on earth. It has never happened. In any generation, there will be witnesses of God. Amen. So, tafuta tu. Naungoje. Utasikia bwana akiongea utasikia bwana akiongea utasikia bwana akiongea it will even come from children and the lord shall establish that in jesus name hata kuna mtu unatokaga na issue nyumbani na wakati tu tunaendelea kuhubiri pastor anaongea kuhusu hiyo pastor anahubiri ile hali god is giving you a witness hallelujah so that what you have in your heart may be established in jesus mighty name may you receive grace to hear god to know him. The only way you can know the voice of some... Now you know my voice because you are used to me preaching to you. So that means even if there was no light here, you will know that is Mama Jafet. Amen? So, uki mzoe ya buwana, uzoe kusoma neno, uzoe kuamuka, kumuomba, utakuja kupata sauti yake, ni mzuri sana na unaisikia. And the voice of God will never contradict his word in Jesus' mighty name. Wezi kuamuka usene buwana, hame kuambia don't eat rice. No, 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 no. You are trivializing the voice of God. Wezi kuamuka. You see, Mungu akikwambia uache kazi, anakupeaga kazi nyingine because he doesn't want you to idle. 
There is no way God will tell you leave work to be sleeping in the house. It's not according to scripture. Maana asiye fanya kazi na asile. So if God tells you leave work, he will tell you leave work, serve me. Leave work, go to the streets. Leave work, do this for me. He would have given you a plan. Any other voice will be the voice of Satan that contradict the word of God in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Bwana atubariki sana kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Na ninaomba tunapoendelea na this series you shall clearly know the voice of God and you will meet brethren na mtu anakudanganya na unaangalia the voice of the Lord will be telling you be careful you are dealing with a crafty person hallelujah tunapoendelea pia tutaongea kulinda siri ya Bwana amen yeah there are things that God gives you and they are not for now the God does not trust people who are too talkative on the issues of him so as we go on with the series ninaomba uko unakuja itakusaidia sana in Jesus mighty name hallelujah So the voice of God those are the just guidelines there are many but I'm just giving you that the ones that I feel like they are major that you will know just repeat them to the kidogo as we wait for Mukanda to be filled with the word of God continually to be committed in doing what is written while waiting for what he is saying usilale kwa nyumba ukingojea eti bwana ataongea kuhusu kazi atafanya nini tafuta what you can do in the house of the lord and god will answer you in jesus name be patient to one is voice you have looked at our prophet Samuel. don't expect god to speak to you exactly the same way he speaks to another person he is a god of variety we have also say don't have an idol in the heart If you are fully decided on what to do don't go and ask God. Mungu anasaidiaga wale watu wajui wafanye nini na wale wanyonge. If you are fully decided on what to do you have an idol in the heart. Don't be prejudicial to God. So don't decide what you are expecting to hear. And then we are saying don't expect God to speak on issues where his will is absolutely clear. And never attempt to trivialize the voice of the Lord. And we have said when you don't get discouraged when God, God appears to be silent. And also whenever you are in doubt, cross check with God. Trust him and he shall give you more witnesses in Jesus mighty name. Nataka tusimame tujiombe. Uombe masikio yako kwa kwamba utajua kumsikia Bwana. That you will be patient to one who now to hear God. Hautakuwa mtu tu akusema Bwana amesema, Bwana amesema na kesho unarealize hajasema unaanza tena repentance. Utamkufuru roho. That you know for sure the Lord has spoken. In this matter for sure the Lord has spoken. Let's just go before the Lord in the name of Jesus Father. And the power of